This is Hello Glass. Congratulations for getting 1,000 views on Hello Glass, and here's your eight bonus questions. This is Lewis Wilson. Question number one What sport or pastime besides glass is your favorite thing to do? Before it took my shoulder, it was competitive uh, table tennis, not ping pong. That's a game Milton Bradley designed in 1947. It's not table tennis. Table tennis is an Olympic sport for men. Say that well enough. <laughs> <laughs> if you had yeah, to. I, I played ton. For 18 years, I was a tournament karate fighter from 64 until 82, uh, Shogakon style. I got my black belt in 1969. But, uh, and all the surgeries I've had the last four months was kind of from doing stupid things when I was young. But uh, I had my shoulder rebuilt about eight weeks ago, and that kind of killed the uh, table tennis. If you had to pick one tool for an apprentice or beginner that is not a torch, what would that be? One tool. The one I've always used, my favorite tool is right here. I've had people try to steal this from me. It's a uh, bone ranger, R-O-N-G-U-E-R-E, a French word. If you have an amputation, fingers cut off, you slice the skin back, you peel the skin back, you have an exposed bone, a little recessed curve of this thing, you use it like a file, you pull it down the bone, and it's for scraping a bone from jagged to smooth so that when you stretch the skin back and smooth it over, it suits your head. I was a corpsman, I did stuff like this. So I never got a rebuilt bone, but I got the tool that you do it with. But this thing here, there's a reason that when a nurse gives a, a tool to a, a doctor, it, it feels good in your hand, it's got that weight in it. But this is stainless steel, I've used this thing for 42 years, 41 years. And, and it is cool, it's for laying in lines. But it's different than if you use your table knife that everybody has. It's a table knife because you're using the front edge. So if you got a grinder, cut one of these off and you got like this. But you won't be able to say bone runs your... <laughs> when setting up a glass shop or studio, name a major part needed. Ventilation. Says the guy with no active ventilation <laughs> other than 16 feet clear story and windows all around. So many people have said I should be dead. But <laughs> ventilation. What is your favorite time of day to make glass art? Now, since I married Sweet Barb, 8 o'clock until maybe 2 o'clock. But before her, it was when I was promoting the shows and trying to get on the torch and the phone was always ringing, it was from 1 o'clock till 6 in the morning. And that's not a good, healthy lifestyle. What annual glass event do you consider the most fun and productive for your glass art? For years it had been the best beat show that I founded, and then uh, I'm not doing that show anymore. I sold those shows, and a uh, year and a half from now the, the best one will be my new show, the World Marble and Glass Festival. Did I slide that in sneaky enough? You totally good. <laughs> Where's it going to be located? It's going to be in Tucson, right here in all those other shows that are beat and glass related. So uh, in February of 2015. Phone number for anybody to contact to get involved? Um, not yet. Just go to lewisewilson.com is the way to, to email me through there. Or, uh, it's still a year and a half out, so there's nothing happening right now other than it will be a glass-only event with 120, 140 exhibitors, big time in the marbles and marines and millies. What is your favorite animal or pet? My favorite animal? Or pet? Are we on Nickelodeon? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite animal or pet? Well, raccoon. Nice. But when I when I met Barb and was dating her, we would go visit her in Florida, and, and there was this mama raccoon or four babies that would trace back and forth in front of the studio when I would be working in her cottage. And these little raccoons, she named one after him, uh, me, and they, they you could feed them out here. They were really, really cool. But yeah, I'd have to say raccoons. What material, color, or glass is your favorite most used in your glass art? Just old 7740 borosilica clear. I mean, I'm old school. I like just clear glass. But I mean, is that the answer you wanted, or uh, if clear is what you do, that's what you do. I, I, yeah, I, I, people want color and all that stuff. But uh, I'm more of a sculptor instead of a surface decorating guy, and I don't do hardly anything with tubing. So it's I'm just old school sculpture mostly, and circus tricks. So best place for a fan or collector to find you or your glass art. 
me and my glass art uh, off the website, lewisclewilson.com. Um, in 2015, it'll be Tucson at the uh, World Marble and Glass Festival. Thank you again from Hello Glass for your time. What's with it now?